All right guys, new shirt, new day. This video is gonna have a lot of that. Um, there's a lot that I'm trying to get done and um, I'm gonna outsource a little bit of it to a friend. So let me show you what I mean by that. When we have been firing this thing up, it has been, it has an exhaust leak and um, these things are pretty typical for cracking the manifolds and lo and behold, if you look right in there, you got a crack going all the way through and I have not pulled it off yet, but from what I can see, that crack goes all the way around to the back. And I'll try and get a better shot of this, but long story short, it's definitely leaking. And uh, I believe that's before the O2, so it could cause it to be running a little rough. Um, haven't had too many driving issues with it, however, but it does sound horrible. So... Uh, I'm going to take the manifold off and get it over to my friend, and he will weld it up for me and do a really good job, and uh, that'll be fixed. While he's doing that, I have to go back to the junkyard to get more seat belts, hopefully a corner light. There's a couple other things on my list, um, and then we've got to keep sanding this and getting it prepped for paint. Um, we need to go to the store to get some masking tape some sandpaper, a sanding block, etc. I've got to write down a couple lists today and go attack that stuff, get this thing over to my buddy's house so he can attack that. And yeah, so like I said, this video is probably going to be a little bit all over the place with a bunch of stuff getting done, little things here and there. Uh, but that's just kind of how it's going right now because it's a weird part of the build where it's just a bunch of little things that we have to get done and in no particular order. So <laughs> let's do it. The cottonwood is back, boys. No matter what I do, it keeps flying in. Gotta embrace it. Well, it's definitely worse than it looked. It's completely around the whole thing, bro. And that spot in there is going to be really tight and hard to get to. So, hopefully my buddy can do it. I have faith in him, but I'll let him see it and see if he can do it. One more thing, guys. And this is like, hopefully to keep you on the edge of your seat. But, so I'm not going to tell you everything. I'm just going to tell you I have really good news. We have been praying about this for a while. And this, this job... On this car, the 94 Accord, even though it looks like it's a pile of crap and it has been a handful of issues to take care of and fix, let me just say, God is working his miracles and we, we've we got something big coming for this car and I can't, I'm just so blessed, that's it. it it'll, you'll see it soon in the next couple videos, you will see it, but holy crap, I just gotta say, God is doing his work right now. You don't believe me? You just wait. Another little quick update. Um, I was able to just turn the heater valve by hand. You see that little valve right there with the wire connected to it? So I was able to turn it by hand. So I know that that valve is not seized. However, um, so I was going back and forth with it. I could hear it moving in the dash. And then once I went all the way to that position, it went thunk. And so something in the dash is causing it to get stuck so we'll probably have to pull that out not the whole dash but we'll probably have to get in here and um, look behind there and make sure the cable isn't like pinched or something uh, maybe lube it up or maybe this is bad I'm not sure yet but all right furthermore it does spin freely okay I'll still look in there and I think what we'll do oops is if we can't find a good good switch here that's in good condition we might end up 3d printing something cool because my friend likes 3d prints so maybe we'll make him a custom heater knob uh one more thing i know i keep saying that uh cup holders we gotta try and find some cup holders and if not maybe we'll 3d print that i got my coffee one more thing before we leave but i got the transmission uh loaded up in the truck my friends came over and uh the, the homie Will and this and my other friend Kelly, they came over and helped me lift this thing into the truck, so out with the old, in with the new, let's go get our money. Alright guys, let's get down there, hopefully there's a, there's supposed to be three Accords at the junkyard right now, so hopefully there's some good stuff on them. We'll see you there. I'm not going to film too much, but I got to show you, 
they got a Wago van. And it's a stick. Oh, you can't see in there very well. Pretty sweet. You don't see these a lot anymore, and it's not too bad. Uh, driver's side looks pretty straight. Passenger side looks straight except for the front fender. But yeah, not bad, guys. I like it. Yo, I almost couldn't believe it, guys. Same color rear seatbelts, and they are like perfect condition. So, seatbelts, check. Uh, grabbed a spare tire, and uh, I broke this on the original car, so I got one of those. Same color. This is the cup holder. It will work. It's the wrong color, but he doesn't have any cup holders in that car right now, so this will have to do. And then uh, we're going to go drop the manifold off right now to my buddy, and keep on going. Oh, you beautiful person that God made. Get out of my way. Got the manifold. We're dropping it off at my buddy's house. He's uh, my welding friend. We used to work together, and... Uh, he welds, like, professionally, uh, in my opinion, so I'm going to leave it here for him, and then uh, when we come pick it up, maybe I'll introduce him if he wants to be on camera. He's got some cool projects going. I think he's doing an LS swap on this old Z car, so, but yeah, head back to the house and try and keep plugging away. We got tons of little things to button up, so yeah, it's a beautiful day out today, too. I am so blessed decided to tackle the reverse wiring and I have located the two wires that we used off the automatic transmission. I believe the sensor that I used was it was the far back one on the right side of the cover and it was I think it's called the counter shaft speed sensor. So those wires which is blue green and blue yellow found those online on a wiring diagram. Okay so those two wires are on the smaller plug on the TCU on the 94 autos and it's going to be the two uh, blue wires that are right next to each other one's blue yellow and one's blue green so I've back probed them here and I was just checking continuity uh, with my multimeter and I got my multimeter right here when I tap these together you'll hear a sound that means we have continuity so if I touch these right now we got nothing and if I put it in reverse So those are the two wires that we need. Neutral, nothing. So that's how it works. Now that we got both of the wires de-pinned here, we can extend them. So we'll run these back up into here through the center console onto this, and then this will plug right back into that factory plug. Um, and that'll run our reverse lights. And then also I have the ex the other plug here for our park neutral switch. So we're going to do both of those. Oh, I got them connected. Um, this is a budget friendly build, boys. These wires I found in the trunk and we're going to repurpose them. They are more than long enough. So I uh, pulled them out of that plug here. And I just taped them back here so that there's not a lot of stress on the uh, joint that I made here. Um, so that's nice and tight. There's crimped, um, individual, heat shrink, wrapped, no way to short. And then we'll just run these wires back in here. So i got to pull this, this apart again because I don't really want to fish around in there. I could play around, but we'll get more room and pull this back out. So ignore the colors coming from the TCU up to here. Um, I'm reusing stuff, and I definitely repin stuff. But basically, you're going to use the same color wires that come off of that reverse switch. It's a solid yellow, and then a green with a black stripe, and they're right next to each other. So I have those pinned over here in line with my switch. So now when we put it in reverse, we have a reverse light. That bulb over there was bad, and then I was chasing a fuse for a few minutes because I was trying multiple things, but the fuse is down there. It's a 10 amp fuse for the reverse lights. But that's how it's set up. So we've got reverse lights 
Now I'm just going to tuck all the wires, get it properly hooked up instead of just twisted here, and we're good to go for reverse. Just ran the wire parallel to the speaker wires, tucked it up through there, and now they're coming out of here, and now we'll clean it up in there. To run my clutch switch wiring, since I don't have the plug, um, I forgot to grab it, that's my bad. We're going to do it a little differently. Um, I cut off one of the spare plugs uh, from the automatic connection down in here that we're not going to use and wrapped those wires up. So we're going to do it this way. I've just got two terminals that fit there and I'm just slide some heat shrink down and heat shrink both of them up so they don't short out at all. And there's our plug. And then we'll just run these extensions back up under the dash and back into here for the uh, park neutral safety switch. So, yes, I know this is not exactly the right way to do it, but it will work, and if you need to do something like this in a pinch, do it right at least, and uh, make sure it's not going to short on itself. Um, so, yeah, there you go. All right, so now I'm going to tape this around like this so it doesn't move, and then it's going to be kind of difficult screwing this thing back into the clutch pedal, but like I said, guys, this is only if you're in a pinch. If you do it the right way, you'd have the plug from the harness from the car, but I didn't do it. All right, there it is. I taped it down, folded it back up, and now we've got our switch. There's no way if you pull on this, it's coming out, so it's going to stay in there. Good to go. So I've got the one wire hooked up to this test lead, the other one hooked up to this test lead. They're both coming from the switch. So now I have it on on uh, continuity setting so when I press the clutch pedal here it should beep if the, if the switch is good and my connection is good so it's good so there's the wires from the clutch switch ran them under the dash nice and neat up there and they're gonna tuck away in here to show you that it works We'll go key in the ignition. Okay, no clutch, and I'm turning the key. Alright, and clutch in. So, it's good. Reverse lights are done. The clutch switch is wired to the park neutral safety switch that's good so now you can't start it in gear good to go boys i decided to take apart the the uh, driver door as well um we already got all the wiring all buttoned up and stuff so remember the window was going up and down weird well i kid you not guys no bolts in the window at all i've got it in there in the right spot right now and then no no top bolts in the regulator here, so this whole thing was like flexing. So the uh, the motor's good, the motor is bolted in, but um, only had the bottom regulator bolts and no window bolts. So I'm gonna throw some bolts in there and make sure that it goes up and down right and lube up the side rails for the window to slide on, and it should be good. Okay, you got all the bolts in, and.
little weak with the battery. But it goes up and down. And I did spray some of this lubricant down in there. Was it worth it? I think so. Um, this was quite strange. I've never seen this before. But there's no threads on this guy. Um, and this is just a, like it's a nice looking plug and you just push it down. Um, and I grabbed the spare from like a 96. It's the same bolt like lug pattern but um, I'm wondering if it's just slightly different. Uh, it should work. But uh, the problem that I'm running into is like if you were to drive around you're going to hear this moving back and forth. But there's no threads on that guy. And if we flip this, it's like not tall enough. So I'm wondering, I have a threading tool. I could totally put some threads on that and then um, put a nut. So I might look into that because this is kind of funky. I don't want him to drive around and have this sliding around and be annoying. So, but yeah, I thought that was strange. Check this out though. It's back, and it works! Yay! So, gonna put some seat belts in. Gonna get the cup holder cleaned up. Cause it's gross. Real gross. Ew. You know, it's not that bad. Um, it definitely doesn't match. And it doesn't stay closed. Cause the little clicker thing here is broken. But, I mean, it's cup holders, and I mean, it was six bucks. If he doesn't like it, I will 3D print him a cup holder that'll fit in there. So, anyways, uh, I totally spaced out at the yard and didn't grab one of those. Dang it. Okay. Oh, <laughs> you know why I've never seen one that way? Because this was faulty. There's threads on it, dude. I was just doing it wrong. Oh, okay, I'll get it out, but you see the threads moving? I was totally backwards, man. Dang it. And that should do it. Brand new threads on there. That's the bottom side. And then I'm going to kind of knurl up the top here and pound this back on so it's got some grip uh, to eat into the plastic. I think that's it, boys. Yeah, it works. All right, cool. There we go. Okay, so you know, it is possible to do this without removing that pillar and the seatbelt and all that crap. You just got to be careful. But I took this off. I took this off. I pulled this one forward because this one locks in this one. And then you have to very carefully get this guy out and over. But if you, let's see here, if you guys twist it like this and you watch this angle here so that you don't crease it, you can get it out. And then now we can get the seatbelt here, that bolt, and there's a 10, I think, under the belt, and that bolt, and then it'll come out. And we got our replacement, so... Just letting you know, it is possible to do it. Just gotta be a little sneaky. So that was the original belt. And we got the middle belt. And the driver's side belt. So, belts are good! Yes! Super stoked. That guy, cup holder. Dude, we're getting so close. I totally forgot to put these in, so we're gonna put them in right now.
guys, I think this is where I'm going to wrap it up. We got a lot of little things done on this car this week. And uh, I'm just going to leave it with, you know, God is good. You guys need to understand God is good. And you just wait and see what happens next. So stay faithful, stay blessed, have a great day. Peace out, guys.